Wait a second. Hang on, I'm frozen. I know. I know why. Let me try that again. Getting the scuff out of the way early. I go away for a week and the scuff stays. Hey, what's up, Vincent? Oh, shit. What was that? How you doing, man? Sorry I've been gone so long, guys. I had a... A pretty bad week last week, but, uh... Hey, what's up, darn sick? The scuff built up. Yeah, I guess you gotta stream more often, so that way you keep the scuff from coming back like, uh... Like rust on something. On something. Great metaphor, Bill. Hang on just a second. I think someone just jiggled my door. Okay, false alarm. I don't know what that was. Alright, well. The camera's plugged in. It doesn't feel like working. Okay, never mind. It works in... The Logitech software. Do I have to restart VTube Studio? Fine, I'll restart VTube Studio. Maybe that'll fix it. Hate it when my <laughs> when rust builds up in my hair. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. I'm thinking rust on some sort of machinery, but I didn't want to make a a metaphor with my work. Okay, okay. Oh, the window popped up. Hey, hey, all right. What's up, Sinza Kuroi? How are you doing? Wow, we're getting 100% confidence on the tracking. That's pretty good. Hang on, let me calibrate one more time. Okay, all right, we should be good. All right, now everything works. <laughs> Hey guys, sorry for the slightly late start. I, uh, my dinner took a little bit longer than I expected to cook. And then I had to eat it before the stream. So, I got that out of the way a little bit late. But hey, now we're here. And just bing chilling, nice. Last stream until Dragon's Dogma steals me. Oh yeah, that's coming out soon, isn't it? I've been, they put out the content creator earlier, right? I've been seeing some interesting creations. I saw someone today posted, uh, they made the Delicious and Dungeon team in Dragon's Dogma. One of my Steam buddies got me Helldivers 2. Nice! Helldivers is a lot of fun. I haven't played it in two weeks, so I know I'm behind on the new Battle Pass and the mechas being added to the game. Some people move to Australia? Oh! <laughs> I'm glad exploits like that still work. That's hilarious. I, uh... I remember being able to buy games on the Japanese Xbox so you would get it a day early. I think someone did that with Dark Souls. Not that I would know. Well, I uh, accidentally left my bitrate cranked up really high for a low FPS stream, but the game today isn't super high action. We're actually... It's almost been... It's been way too long since I last played RimWorld. I don't know why I jumped off of RimWorld. But RimWorld announced a new DLC 
which I'm super excited for. Uh, because I have thousands of hours in this game. And uh, new content for this game is always cool. Uh, I guess I can just go ahead and hit this button. I hadn't, we had an intervention and begged you to stop playing. You know, it, you say that, and it's true. There were people who were like, yeah, you've been playing, hey, thanks, Procstream. There were people who were like, hey, you've been playing too much RimWorld these days. And I go, oh, okay, we should play other games. And then I play other games for almost a year. And then the Discord goes, oh, hey, when are we going to go back to RimWorld? Well, I guess when they announce a new DLC and then I feel like, oh, well, I should try to finish this colony up before uh <laughs> before the DLC and then I'll want to start a new colony with the DLC and then the cycle continues again uh rip to all my mods though well let's get a uh let's get our bearings since it's been so long try to figure out what we got going on we've got seven humans still alive I know we've had we've had some people die unfortunately we buried them, right? We can go look at... Oh, yeah. All right. Nutter's Nutty died. Theodos. Battle Scroll died. Oh, Battle Scroll dying was a huge upset because he was a really strong character. Pulp Leon. Krabby Apple died. Yeah. I think she died, like, an hour after she showed up, typed exclamation point join, and then, like, her character died immediately. Did we bury some other characters? I could have sworn, I thought we had a kid, and the kid grew up, and then died to, like, some Yorkshire Terriers or something ridiculous. Oh, well. What about my ski free, huh? We'll, uh... <laughs> I thought I've I still keep Ski Free and like what were those games? The childhood games like Putt Putt and stuff in the back of my head, in the back of my mind. So we decided to go with a mountain based playthrough this time. What's up, Karma? We hit a war crime co quota yet? Uh, not yet. Try to remember what else happened here. Oh, we have some husk. We have a husky we can name. All right, so we have Aaron. I don't know if Aaron's here tonight, but uh, he is our vampire. He is the leader of the colony. Uh, Remwell calls them sanguifages, but I'm just gonna call them vampires because that makes this easier. Um. Aaron is a vampire impid, so he has the fire breath and stuff. Which is kind of counterintuitive, because vampires have... Uh, they take bonus fire damage, and they're scared of fire. Unless the impid traits give him fire... Oh, his fire resistance gets overridden! No, how cool would it be if, fire, if he could be fire resistant instead of... Oh, well. His, um... Slow wound healing and weak immunity and weak melee damage gets overridden by better traits. Uh, now, was it Mares who crash landed with him? I think Mares is one of the originals. How do I look at that? Time is calling us 3.4 years. Three point two years. Oh, does he lose time because of his crypt sleeping that he has to do? Interesting. All right. Uh, number three, we got Selwing, who is a dirt mole, so that means he's good at mining. Kind, careful shooter, Gorman, so that means he's also a good cook. Well, mediocre. He's our moral moral leader. High mining, animal, social. That's why we made him the moral leader. John Doe. 
very neurotic. He's a waster. So that means he doesn't get addicted to drugs. High medical social intellect. Yugi Tsune, a Neanderthal, tough melee combatant. That's why the nine melee. Undergrounder and brawler. So really good in melee. We just have a little... Well, it's an excellent quality steel axe, so it's probably a deadly melee weapon. Holy cow, when did I get a Masterwork Charge Lance? Hey, we got some good stuff. Uh, dude. I don't know where dude is tonight. Uh, but he's an 11-year-old. Jogger and nimble. So, hopefully he can run away from trouble before dying. And Daniel K., who has a psychic bond. <laughs> he fell in love with someone who visited our colony and she left. And now he has a permanent debuff. <laughs> a permanent minus 25% consciousness debuff. But uh, he's a high mate. So high social, cooking, decent crafting, animals. And so we've built our base into the mountain. My goal is to probably build more into the mountain. He's in bed in Germany. Oh, yeah, it's probably like 2 in the morning for him. Need research project. Oh, okay. We're up to fabrication. Well, advanced fabrication is probably the next one. All right, Vincent put himself on the list. Oh, we just had toxic fallout. That's why there's no plants planted. So now that the fallout has cleared out, hopefully we get back to growing again. And uh, yeah. We'll put it on 3x. Mares has serious toxic buildup? Why am I poisoned? You should be fine. Oh, wow. We did... Oh! That's right. We did... We're growing babies now. So we have an embryo of Yugitsune and Mares. Can I check the genes of the baby? Oh, they got some of the Neanderthal traits. Nice. Slow study, poor shooting, but strong immunity, robust, strong melee, slow runner. Actually, I think they got 100%. Oh, they didn't get the reduced pain, poor social, poor intellect, and the uh, temperature tolerance. But they also didn't get aggressive, so that's good too. And they actually have a hunger offset, so they're going to eat less food, so... Uh, this is gonna be a pretty good, pretty good soldier once uh, he or she is born. Actually, do we even know? Oh well. Uh, so Aaron's got his little vampire base over here. His death rest capacity is three of three. We have a crafting trainer, that's good. I don't know why we're holding on to that. I think I need more shells. Infestation! Excellent! Alright, we got some bugs burrowing into the base. Why is my power off? Did I switch these off? I switched, oh, was I having low power issues? Huh. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully my five pawns can, uh, handle this.
All right, Selwing's going to shoot. Aaron's going to be up front. Yukitsune. John Doe. Oh, Mares is sanguine and tough and has higher melee than... Oh, it's just one. No, we got to save the husky. Who's our doctor? Ah. Hang on. Hang on. I want to rearrange you. I want to rearrange you. There we go. Okay. Husky's gone. Uh, his nose and his paw is broken, but otherwise he's okay. John Doe's right there to tend him. We'll get the puppy patched up. Yep, no longer incapable of walking. So we'll, uh... Someone will... tend to his wounds? Have John do it. He was just going to play chess instead. You can't play chess while the dog is dying. Alright. Dog is safe. Wait. Did this thing get back up? I thought we killed this thing. Well, guess not. Alright. Now it's dead. It's dead for good. Ha! Huh, okay. Oh, we have a bionic arm. That's pretty cool. Darn Sig was writing a shooting book. Wait, is... Do we have people away on a quest? No, I don't think so. So wait, what happened to Darn Sig? When's the next Jackbox stream? Uh, I should play... Also, what's up, Plufo? I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, I should be doing one next week. I, I owe... I owe the Twitch side of things that for hitting a follower's goal, so... Probably Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday next week. I'm gonna be busy on weekends from now until April, unfortunately, so no, no weekend streams for a while. Yeah, you are dead, darn sick. I just don't know where you died. Or what happened to your body? Did we eat your body? It's entirely possible. I think we're cannibals. Yes. Oh, wait. No. Okay. There's a, a sarcophagus. We have Ms. Dino Goat. And Jam. I still don't know where Darn Sig's body is. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. There's no one named Darn Sig. Oh well, we can scrap this book. Work's been tough. Dude, I feel that. Work, work kicked my butt all last week. I mean, I knew I was going to get my butt kicked. And then it got worse than the usual. There is a crypt in the rice fields. Oh. There's Darn Sig! There you are. Hey! Don't you feel so represented <laughs> right now? And then uh, a cool burb. I think I know who that is. Uh, you're dead too. Well, I have a feeling we might have some more deaths, so... Quest available, a friend with enemies. Uh, I need to guard her friend for 15 days. We'll get attacked by two mecha mechanoids. 
Hey, take it easy, Blue Plufo. Hopefully things get better with work. We get offered a Vanometric Power Cell. That's pretty awesome. Generates free energy forever without using fuel. Oh, can I take on a Lancer, two Pikemen, a Scorcher, and a Tesseron? Probably. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. We can- we do have mortar shells. We can pepper them before. I can just lock them out? How do you mean, Karma? Oh wow, we're low on food too. Alright, we probably need to go hunting. We have hunters, right? We have a hunter. Is Selwing really our only hunter? Wait, what is everyone's shooting? No, melee, melee, melee. Five shooting, five shooting. Uh, okay, John Doe should be a hunter. And Daniel can't shoot stuff, because he's too nice of a dude. Yeah, low food, I know. Well, good thing the insects attacked. We got to use their meat and jelly, but we're almost out of that. I think this growing embryo is taking a lot of our nutrition, too. A lot of our food. Oh, we left a lot of pollution to join. Hey, hey, what's up, Korax? You've joined the queue. You might be named after this baby when they're born. I can't promise you'll live a long time, though. Oh! Selwing told Yutsugune that he wanted to spend his life with her. Yutsugune agreed, and the two are now engaged. Hey, hey, how about that? Love can blossom in RimWorld. Okay, we're low on wood, but we got tons of steel. I want to build a steel shelf. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to name him after the baby. I'm going to name the baby after him. I got it backwards. You were you were right to correct me, darn sick. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> oh, I think we got, we stopped a siege rage, rage, raid one time. And that's how we stole these mortars. And the high explosive shells. Shield core. So we can make another... Shield... Low shield pack. There we go. We have this Impid, who I think... We are keeping just as a, a blood bag farm for now. I don't need the passive cooler anymore because we have the air conditioning unit. That's just a waste of time. Alrighty. Red pawn, red blood. I mean, yeah, we need to feed Aaron his blood. That is true. Animal starvation. Oh, my last boomalope is going to starve. Is it even in a pen? No. Wonder if I can uh, save my boomalopes over here. Okay, 
Okay, more animals to hunt. Our rice fields are so far away. We need to get the tech where we can make mushrooms and start making mushroom farms, I think. Start moving this infrastructure deeper into the caves. Oh, I never accepted this quest. Why am I not accepting this quest? Am I afraid I can't handle it? Ideally... Let me move my boomalote to safety in here. And then ideally, if I accept the quest... Uh, should move... The attacker should come in and attack through this trap here. Let's talk about pawns. Does it help my elevated hype levels for DD too? Um, what what is going on with that game? There are some people complaining that it isn't easy. Is that what's going on? I saw it. I'm out of the loop on it, but I saw people complaining about Asmongold's take on... I mean, most of the time people complain about Asmongold's take, but he had said something about Dragon's Dogma 2, and... I don't know. Maybe someone can fill me in. I saw it briefly. I've been touching too much grass lately. I don't know what all the latest internet drama is anymore. Maximilian Dude described it as a early 2000s era MMO. <laughs> Dude, that... That is a special type of fun that we don't get anymore. Was he complaining when he compared it to that? I don't know. There was a certain charm to picking up World of Warcraft before, like, any metas, meta builds the correct way to play, anything like that had been figured out. And just playing... He said it as a positive. Okay, good. And just playing a Retribution Paladin and not knowing what I was doing, but I was having fun while doing it. And my friends would invite me along even though... Guys, Bill... Rhett Paladins are terrible. And I go, yeah, but there's nothing like command seal proccing and doing... <laughs> I do a physical damage and a holy damage hit on the same target at the same time with a big, slow, fat, heavy, two-handed mace. And I just watch people get deleted if I got lucky. There were other times where it wouldn't hit. And I would do no damage. Because it was just a big, slow, heavy white swing. And there was no in-betweens. That's what it felt like, at least. City of Heroes was the same way for me. I just played what looked cool. But thankfully, City of Heroes was balanced in a way that whatever was cool... ...was still viable. Like, you could play pretty much however you wanted to in City of Heroes. I mean, you could cheese the game. And you could make builds that could take on, like, raid bosses by themselves. I had a friend who metagamed that way. But that didn't, that didn't seem fun to me. I tried playing that way, and I got so bored so fast. It was a game that had, like, hundreds of power combinations. I was like, I want to make really cool designs. And, like, the character builder in that game was something else. Oh, all these wild pigs just showed up. Bacon is on the menu for our... Our poor colonists who have been starving. I won't intentionally kill you, Korax. If you get named, I will take care of you. But, uh, hey, <laughs> good luck. Hopefully you get named and uh, hopefully tomorrow's a... Hopefully you get some good sleep and tomorrow's good for you, man. We built that. Oh, I just realized. Why are some of us on indoors? Oh, to avoid the toxic fallout. Okay. Uh, 
Uh-oh, my Boomalope's starving, starving to death. We are really low on food. Cool, we brought it indoors so it can... Oh, no, we gave it one of our precious meals. Alright, get the bunny. We need more hunters. Actually, I don't have many people who can actually shoot guns. Is dude old enough to hunt? Dude, you're gonna go hunt now. Some quests are time sensitive. Wolves are not gonna wait for you to save the world to not eat the kit they snatch, for example. Uh, I think that's an interesting concept. As long as it's not, like, super punishing for, uh... Taking too long to get to a quest, you know what I mean? But I could see that being a fun mechanic. Healthy vat burst! Birth. Alright, we have a baby. I'm gonna go pull a name right now. Uh, good luck, everyone. Wiggle bottom. I think if it does it alphabetically. <laughs> Giggity? Yeah. No, wait, hang on. It went from 20 to 21. Hang on, I don't know if it works. Can I do this? Hang on, hopefully this doesn't... Raven Cassidy, where is that name from? Okay, well that one worked. Raven... Oops, wrong button. Nickname Cassidy. Schultz is last name. Alright, we have a baby. And we actually, we actually have baby food. I mean, it's been so long since I last streamed this, so I'm sure there were people who signed up and then were like, oh, he never played this again. We have a baby bed for him, right? Okay, we do. And we're queued up to make baby food? Yes. And we're hunting? Come on, get the piggy, John. Nope. Oh, the but the doe died. Uh, passed out. That works. Major break risk. Mares, why are you upset? What's wrong? My daughter McDougal died. My child Cassidy isn't happy. Why? Why do you feel um? <laughs> why do you have paternal feelings for an embryo? I don't know, and and a a, a a test tube baby. That's what I'm trying to find the words to say. Recreation unfilled. Sick. Oh, what are you sick with? Oh yeah, toxic buildup. Dude, you have an itchy scar on your brain. Uh, holy cow, that's that is no good. We need to fix your brain. 
We're actually really lucky that the mini turret gun did not kill you. But that's because you're tough, so you take half damage from all sources. Including your brain. Consuming raw meat instead of cooking it. Oh, there's a turkey. We can hunt the turkey. <laughs> Our boomalope's awake, but uh, at what cost? Cell wing. Can you, can you get the boomalope back into its pen? Where it can eat? Who's our other cook? Daniel K. What is Daniel doing? Eating rice. Cleaning. Resting. Bro, why aren't you cooking? Oh, I'm getting raided by mechs even though I didn't accept the quest. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, where's our... Stay away from the bugs. Indoors. Okay. Well, we need to schedule everyone to indoors. Oh, this dude just tried to laser my dog. Actually, I don't have enough food to survive. He's gonna eat raw, right? Yeah. You know, we can't eat mechanoids. If only humans raided us, then we can chop them up. Into delicious jerky. Ate raw pork. Daniel has food poisoning now. We had multiples of them land, huh? Bunny, rat, squirrel. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Dude, why is he moving through the... Alright, one down. Force it to come closer. Hit those traps. Yeah, alright. Good deal. Okay, John hold back. Selwing hold back. Okay. We got them trying to assault the base. Legionary? I've not... I don't think I've ever seen this type before. Needle launcher and a shield. Well, unfortunately, this one's going to break my wall down.
Coldness needs rescue. What happened to Daniel? Oh, food poisoning. There we go. Given the hands. We did crush him a little in melee there. Only I can get this one to turn around. Hello, Mr. Pikeman. I'm try I'm trying to come kill you. Ignore my colonists trying to go about their their daily routine. Maybe my kill box should be right here. Don't don't hit John. Oh my god, John! Make it inside. Oh, you get Sude, you lost your eyeball. When did that happen? Get it, everyone. There we go. Alright, back to business. Why does the pikeman chase remind me of Scooby-Doo? A group of pigs have dropped right in right on top of you. Randy doesn't want us to make it to the stars, huh? I mean, we just got beat up by the... Wait, where did they land? Oh, they landed right, right on top of me. Hey, Poochie, how are you doing tonight? Game heard that you wanted to end before the DLC. Yep. Hey, Chest High Wall, thank you for re-upping your membership. Young man, we are very disappointed in you. We're going to have a serious discussion about your list when your manager gets home. All right. Thank you so much for the continued support. Uh, hope you're doing okay. And you're not too disappointed in me. And this, this guy didn't steal my... Oh, shoot. Mares, you need to be on search and destroy. You too, Aaron. Hopefully this guy didn't steal my shield backpack. I don't know if that'll show in the logs. <gasps> you get two nades down! Slashed in the neck. Oh crap. Okay. We can we can coagulate. Mayor's got shot in the head. Mayor's is down. He's feeling depressed too. Okay, I can't lose Aaron. If Aaron dies, we're in trouble. Oh, that didn't kill him. Aaron's down! Oh. Okay, alright. Um... 
Well, this is going to be a short stream tonight, I think. They decided to kidnap who they can't? No, 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 no. We're not kidnapping anyone. Yeah, kidnapping Aaron's not going to happen. All right, who has medical? John does. Okay, you need to stabilize mares. Dude, chase the pig down. I got a 12 year old with a minigun, or minigun, a submachine gun. Oh my gosh. Hey, thank you so much for subscribing, Poochie. Well, the good news is, uh, those pigs just brought us food that we were missing. <laughs> we'll just, uh, eat, chop up the pig people. Can eat that as long as all my cooks aren't incapacitated oh no nope. cell wing is still conscious Oh my goodness. That was... Dude, the game's trying to kill me. Two raids like that, back to back? Pretty unfair, I'd say. All right, schedule. Unrestrict everyone. Now hopefully the game gives me a second to, you know, breathe and it'll back off and... Now we can, you know, make some meat from the bodies and get back to what we were doing. Aaron's in a daze. That's fine. He'll snap out of it. Mayor's isn't bleeding to death. Yugitsune's not bleeding to death. Trade ship passing by. Are you a night owl? No. So why do you have such weird hours? Uh, okay. We can sell stuff for... Okay, we'll always buy components, but we can also buy meat from these guys. Might not be a bad idea, since we're in a weird spot where we can't afford anything. What else can we sell? I need Luciferum. Oh, I do have Resurrector Mech Serums, just in case someone does die. Alright, sell this garbage. Sell anything that's low quality. Poor, poor. Normal quality parkas aren't super great. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, well that's a lot of stuff coming back our way, so we'll get... Vehicle mods are pretty nuts. Yeah, I don't have any of those. But I believe you. We'll get advanced components. We'll get 30 fine meals. That should help us. Can we get all the venison? Okay. So this will get us meat to cook and then food to eat right now. So this will get us out of... Oh, man. Yes. 
Haul all that. Haul all that. And that. And that. All right. Okay. Oh, man, we were almost starving to death, but we we pulled it out. Not very often I've had to use uh, bulk traders for food, but I'm not going to complain because it, uh, like I said, it got us out of a really bad spot. Now, if only I could get my airdrop stuff to land where I want it to instead of randomly. Alright, well, I'm going to try to not starve to death again, so we'll make sure to keep the meat reserves extra stockpiled. Fails on your donation. Uh, I probably got an angry, not angry, disappointed DM waiting for me once I once I get around to there. Uh oh. Oh, random thunderstorm. Oh, did I wait too long on the friend with friends quest? Offer expired. Man, I got slammed with stuff. Good thing I didn't accept that quest. I mean, rip to the Vanimetric power cell. That thing would have been awesome to have, but... Medical emergency, Cassidy. Oh, our baby's dying. Uh, you can't attend the party. Uh, who's hosting the party? No, 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 you need to cook. You need to make baby food. Can you make it out of meat? No, only vegetarians. I should have bought agave from the... Uh, the bulk goods trader. This baby is going to starve to death because I don't have any plants. No, prioritize harvesting, not sowing. I just saw like four harvests botched in a row. No, you need to... Oh, why can't multiple of you guys focus on harvesting? Why are you so bad at harvesting plants? Oh, three. How much baby food do I need? Okay, five. Okay. I have six rice. We should build make one baby food. Prioritize feeding Cassidy. Come on, come on, come on. Get some food in this baby. Oh my gosh, we're at 95% malnutrition? We're horrible parents. Okay, we got food in the baby. Korax will not die. 
Or Cassidy will not die. Alright, that was almost rough. Last minute rice harvest, save the day. Uh, copy and paste settings. All right, I'm gonna try to rest easy for a moment until stuff gets crazy again. So, how's it going, everyone? Let's see, uh, I got some crazy news today where <laughs> uh, a lawsuit I was a part of. Uh, we agreed to, well, I can't say we, but I was in a, I was part of a class action lawsuit. I don't know how it works, but apparently. The people doing the class action lawsuit agreed to settle, so I get some money. So that's pretty cool. Man hunting pack. We're gonna get attacked by 21 iguanas. <laughs> we agreed to disagree. Hey, you know what? I will agree to disagree all day if that means um, getting paid. Oh, Daniel is on a night schedule. Why? Oh, he is a night owl. Okay, never mind. Dumb question. All right. Purely indoors. Uh, everyone is injured. By everyone, I need mares and Yugitsune. So we're not going to engage the iguanas. We'll just let them come out and do their iguana thing. And then we'll, uh, we'll let them get away. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So in like, like two months, three months, something like that, I should be getting my settlement check. <laughs> that's, that is really cool. Daniel's playing with the baby. Okay, put the baby away. We're done playing with the baby. Uh, we should probably get baby toys. Probably make it out of steel. So we can entertain the baby. And make it happy. Right, what is Mares working on? Oh, he's not our crafter. That's Daniel. By a Daniel set to cooking. That's okay. We don't need to necessarily craft right now. So, I, uh, I laughed because the settlement amount means I will. <laughs> I'll be able to pay for my model upgrade with that. Pen not enclosed. Oh.
What did you get burnt? Oh, you got burned. Did you get struck by lightning? Serves you right. Dude, that thunderstorm is gonna take care of the iguana herd for me. It's kind of funny. That's Rocky's money. I don't. Rocky didn't do anything to earn this cash. This is Dosh coming my way. He got spoiled this weekend. Where's Rocky? Uh, Rocky's on the couch. He has made a nest out of three pillows and one of my coats. And he just sprawls out across it. And gets super comfy. <laughs> Defer your coat. <laughs> it's probably too late for that. I was in a lawsuit. Uh, it was a class action. And uh, I was an affected party, even though... Uh, even though I didn't get put as one of the plaintiffs, or whatever it's called. Also, what's up, Exodus? But yeah, I mean, one of the lawyers reached out to me and I said, yeah, I'll, if you need me to testify or you need any information from me or whatever. And they said, sure, we'll keep you in mind. And then they never followed up with me. I was like, all right, whatever. Maybe they, they didn't go anywhere. And then I saw they agreed to settle, which was cool because I get paid. But then I saw the 15 people who the lawyer team went with. Got an extra $8,000 as a reward for testifying. And I was like, what the hell? I totally would have testified for another eight grand. Oh, well. I literally didn't do anything. I'm going to get $3,000. I can't complain. I wonder if you do, if my colonist dies and style more mods kind of stream, how it would perform. Uh, the problem there is I think adding mods can corrupt the game. Like, not every mod can be added to an ongoing playthrough, so it would, it would screw things up. It would be tricky to implement something like that, is what I'm trying to say. It's a cool idea. Or if I had some way where chat could vote on what mods get turned on but I don't know how you would do that All right, I think we're good on food finally Cursed sound effect mods so that... Oh, Raven Cassidy, thank you for subscribing. Hey, uh, <laughs> congrats on getting named in the game. <laughs> Try to see what else I want to get from these guys. That's, that's probably it. Just more components. Can never go wrong with components. I got the Melanie Mac treatment. I don't know if I catch your reference. But yeah, probably I'm willing to bet. Oh yeah, my Discord is making fun of me for playing Room World. See? Oh well. 
I don't know if you guys saw that, but we tried feeding our prisoner, and the dog walked into the prison cell and ate the prisoner's food. <laughs> I was following on an alt account this whole time. Oh, hey. Well, big ups for, uh... Getting all your accounts on here. I hope you're having a, a good night. Appreciate the support. Helping my little, my little sub count number go up a little bit more. Yeah, these iguanas are about to starve to death. Maybe I should have ordered more food. No, we got plenty of food. There's still... We haven't even dug into our human meat reserves. I mean, we worship vampires. There shouldn't... Cannibalism isn't that... That extreme. Is Yuki Tsune our only lady? Answer is yes. Well. When you're healthy again. Holy cow. How many injuries do you have? Seventeen injuries. I was gonna say when you're healthy, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll take we'll take another ovum out and we'll make another try the growth vat again, and hopefully we don't starve to death this time. Okay, there's still still angry iguanas out here. I wonder why Manhunter only makes them attack humans. Like why they don't attack other animals if they're hungry. Alright, well, long story short, Melanie Mac was a class action, didn't have to actually do anything, but she was affected. She got like 12k in the settlement. Oh, nice! I don't know who that is, but... Yeah, I'm fine with people suing people. <laughs> if I'm on the suing and winning side, she's a regular on side scrollers. Oh, how to tell my pawn to not run in front of 50 cal line of fire? Uh, well, uh, Amy, the best way to do that is I have a mod. Surprise, that'll do it. Um, let's see, that's the wrong button. Options mod list. Mod options. I should have avoid friendly fire. So what will happen is um, if I drafted uh, Aaron okay let's use our current setup right here. If I drafted Daniel and I was going to shoot Selwing but I had avoid friendly fire turned on then he would see the friendly husky and his name would turn blue. I have a feeling that this mod is the one that causes the most performance issues. Avoid friendly fire? I don't know how it would cause performance issues unless it's checking the line of sight uh, values very frequently. It won't keep the mod from running in front of the line of fire, but it'll keep the people who are shooting from shooting into the line of fire and potentially killing others. Okay, the iguana's left. We're free to... 
Oh wait, this iguana attacked Sammy out here, huh? Can I post link? Uh, only if you're a mod. Google Docs. Can you whisper it to me, maybe? Maybe that'll work. It's a Google Docs that has info about slow mods. I'd be interested in checking that out. Oh wait, why I don't want to train this. Let the let the boom rat go. Colonist needs rescue. Mares, what knocked you out? Oh, heat stroke and food poisoning. Okay, yep. Oh, we need to break these rocks down. I have no idea how to whisper you. Hey, hey, thank you. So why I refuse mod position whenever offered. Don't want to appear in this list of slow mods. <laughs> oh, avoid friendly fire is on there. Last checked, 11.06.23. Hey, thanks for the list. This is pretty cool. I personally haven't had any issues with it. Oh, this has Where's My Weapon. I use Where's My Weapon all the time. I love that mod. Yeah. I don't know. I guess your results may vary, but I use Avoid Friendly Fire. I think that mod's exactly... If your mod is not too big, like 100 plus, then you should be fine. What is... What is my mod list? I think I'm at like 146 or something. I don't know. I've watched other RimWorld streamers who even stream with less mods than I do. And, uh, uh, I mean, even in just like big fights are, is going to cause issues for them. I have 350 and it's running fine. Oh, nice. I mean, you just got to think at a point that you're just going to be adding so much stuff onto the game and so many features to be tracked that, uh, you're, you're not going to escape the lag. Like, I watch Adam vs. Everything. I think that's the name of the channel. I haven't, I, I haven't watched him in a while. But I, he when he plays and gets to the, the raid cap, and he gets a tribal raid, and it spawns like 400 pawns at once, uh, it gets ridiculous how his, his game turns from you know, smooth moving like this into <laughs> a PowerPoint real quick. And he doesn't stream with that many mods. Like, one mod so he can't pause, another to break the speed cap to 500 times, or 5x or whatever. Oh, see, that pig died. Nothing to be afraid of. Baby's not hungry. There you are, Raven. Raven Cassidy. You're a hybrid. With, uh... Strong melee traits. 
We'll make a child soldier out of you yet. Speaking of child soldiers, how is dude doing? He just got food poisoning. Well, poor guy. Uh, oh, do we have festivals that we can do to recruit people? The answer is yes, I just haven't been doing them. Well, I think things are stable enough that we can try to recruit people. Punch my mic, sorry. We got tons of food, so... I think if we add a couple people, it won't throw anything off. This guy named Cod joined. He has weed, but other than that, nothing interesting. All right, I need to find someone I can make a dedicated farmer. That is what we're missing. All these half-sown fields. Oh, well, it was a fun party of war. I guess not fun enough. Not fun enough to recruit anyone, at least. Okay, get the hole in our wall patched up. Oh, cool. We're breaking down old materials. Cleaning up the map. Yeah, I don't really feel a need to dig deeper into the mountain right now. Because I only have eight people. This is plenty of space for eight people. If anything, I should probably think about building a kill box. An Ebex doe self-tamed. Well, we can slaughter that one easily. <laughs> because it'll it'll go along willingly to the uh, the butcher table. Well, the the DLC for this game is going to add horror elements. So it's gonna be a lot of scenarios where a lot of people can die. But it does look cool. From the screenshots, it looks like we get... Uh, I don't know if anyone's a fan of SCPs. But it looks like some of these monsters that attack, we can uh, capture them, contain them, research them, and I think get upgrades from them. But they also attempt to break free. I'm also excited to see what new scenarios they add into the game. Because, like, the last one with biotech, we got the Mechanator and Sanguifage uh, scenarios, which have been a lot of fun. I mean, we're playing the Sanguifage story, story scenario right now. It looks like there's things that will also mutate the colonists. Oh, hey, quest completed. The immense blueprint. A 10 by 22 construction. Wasn't that one. It's probably this one. Right. Should be able to remove the roof and disassemble all this.
All right, things have been real calm. Probably too calm for too long. Thaven and the Toxic Spewer. A three-year-old named Lee Vaz Thaven is calling from nearby. She's hiding from her enemies. She wants to flee her hiding spot and join you in the suck zone. I forgot that's what we named our colony. If you accept her, her enemies will set up a site nearby to harass you. There's a Toxic Spewer machine blanking the whole region in poison and six man-hunting Yorkshire Terriers wandering nearby. The threat will remain till you go destroy it. I mean, I'm tempted because we need more colonists, but a three-year-old is not going to contribute anything for a long time. And we already have a kid and a baby. So we would just be getting another kid. Plus, we'd have to travel on the world map. I mean, it's six Yorkshire Terriers. We should be able to just send Aaron and one other, and then we'll be done with it. It has it as two stars. It's like a hard quest. Is killing six Yorkshire Terriers really that hard? I guess I also have to worry about the game attacking me while we're gone, too. Speaking of... A group of imps have arrived nearby. Cool. The emotional trauma from killing those dogs. Uh, I guess there is that to consider, too. I can't look up to see if Thaven's even any good. I mean, a three-year-old probably isn't going to have that many, that good of stats. Oh, my... <laughs> Self-tamed Ebex Doe is still out there. It's probably going to get slaughtered by the Impids. I would take any colonists you can get, even if it's a kid. Well, we got to hope this battle goes safely. Wait, why did they attack this wolf? This wolf's not part of my colony. They're ignoring my evex, though. Where's Mares? Okay, Mares is on the way. Oh no, fire! We don't like fire! Fire bad. That was easy. Killed half of them and the other half got scared. Alright, are you any good? Masochist, careful shooter, volatile. I 
I tried to full screen the stream while I'm already full screen. Oh, is the overlay kind of setting you off? Nah, it's just you. Okay. Well, I say we capture this guy. We have another... <laughs> another prisoner we can uh, harvest blood from. I've done it even though you've had the overlay. Okay. Oh, even when I had no, no overlay. See, Masochist is going to be useful because we're going to come take a lot of your blood. <laughs> and that's going to suck, but... Uh, you're not going to complain, which makes you the perfect blood bag. And look, we got you a buddy. And if you get an infection in any of your limbs, I'm just going to chop them off. Oh, pen not enclosed. Better get that free medicine. Does imp blood taste like chili sauce? You know, my vampire... Well, my vampire is an impid. And the, uh... Our two prisoners are impids. So hopefully he doesn't mind... Drinking the blood of his type. Of his own kind. Or maybe, hopefully, he doesn't mind a little bit of spicy blood. Okay, you're fully healed, so we can extract an Uvum. Oh, a doe self tamed. The game's just throwing meat at us. I like this. All right, yes or no, do I, do we rescue Thaven? How do I run a pole? We should run a pole. Do we go save the three-year-old from the Yorkshire Terriers? I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> Preemptive rigged? I can't even vote in my own polls. That had to have come from someone who was already expecting it. Okay. Couple votes, yes. Alright, I don't want to sit, sit on it too long. We're going to rescue Thaven. Oh, she joins right away. Hey, that's actually good. That's a good deal. Alright, let's look at Thaven. Child, no traits, but that's okay. She learns traits as she levels up. Outlaw ideology. Well, we can train her out of that. No health issues. Well, you're a kid, so you're only good at 
learning and cleaning, so that's what I'll have you do. Alright, Toxic Spewer. Oh, it's right next door! Okay, well... If we send our full colony, it should not be... Should not be an issue. Oh, wait, what if I have a breakout? Alright, we'll keep Mares... And John Doe behind. And Selwing. Yeah, Yugi Tsune and Eren are both tough melee fighters. There's no way they lose to six Huskies. Huskies. They're not even Huskies. They're Yorkshire Terriers. They're tiny dogs. All right, we have bed rolls, medicine, food. We're bringing two days of food for a 0.2 day travel time. My dog can handle that alone. Rocky doesn't fight. It's a good thing. But yeah, he could probably take on six Yorkshire Terriers if push came to shove. Or if he was hungry enough. Or if they had a... Uh... If he found out that they squeaked. He likes squeakers. Maybe he'd uh, suddenly go after them. Oh wow, we're already in the encounter. Oh, here come the terriers. Alright, I want Yugitsune to get the brunt of it. Because Aaron can use Coagulate to hear, heal Yugitsune. Alright, um, search and destroy. Alright, one down. Two down, three down, or halfway through. Four. Five. Six. Uh oh. Yeah, the main base is getting attacked. Should be able to go through those doors now. Alright, we have to kill this toxic spear fast so we can come back home and save everyone. Oh crap, that's a lot of red foxes. Alright, um... Daven needs to stay indoors. Dude stays indoors. Selwing stays indoors. Daniel's about to make it inside, and we'll make him stay indoors. All the animals need to stay indoors. Okay, I need to watch John Doe and Mares. Crap, this husky is going to cause trouble. Either they follow him in? Okay, no. Alright. Oh, I just realized Toxic Spear destroyed means that when my guys make it back in... The red foxes might come after them. Hey, hey, what's up, Reggie? How have you been? It's 
the milkman. <laughs> How you like that, Reggie? You're the milkman. How have I been? Uh, last week of work was pretty crazy, but we're doing okay otherwise. Oh my god. They're trying to get through the door to get to Mares. Oh, what's a... The only back door way in is through the freezer. Maybe that's safe enough. I gotta hope this door holds. Alright, do you guys have construction? Oh yeah, you do. Install this here. Prioritize working on that. No, 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 Mares, why'd you do that on the outside? Okay, John Doe stay indoors. All right, install here. Why is he doing it in this weird way? Oh, there we go. All right. The day I figured out milk is a country, I lost it. <laughs> well, did you ever find it again? Dumb joke. <laughs> I think I'm allowed to hit hit Reggie with a dumb joke or two every once in a while. I say every once in a while. It's basically every stream. We have we have to hit dumb joke. Put that on the bingo cards. Oh look, little Thaven is learning. Oh wait, we need to pull a name. All right, random user number two. Hey, Vincent! You, you made it in as our three-year-old. <laughs> yep, you're in, good luck. Your left eye got cut out. Wait, what happened to you? Oh, you hit a spike trap. Yeah, it serves you right. We should probably build another desk. I don't have enough wood. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll build a steel desk. With steel chairs. Right, hopefully these foxes get bored. And wander off. How close are they? Oh, they're halfway through. Yeah, even Eren and Yuki Tsune... Uh, could not take on... We're down to 17 foxes. Okay. 
They're dead? No, they're still alive. They they killed the Toxic Spewer. But uh, 17 foxes are a lot of foxes. For even two... I can't even say well-equipped, because this guy's using a regular longsword. And this guy's using a regular axe. Well, I say regular. It's excellent. New quest has become available. Compensated violence. Two groups of imps have been harassing her campaigns. They've asked me to distract them. The first group of imps is three berserkers, three penitents, two warriors. A similar sized group will follow soon after. I'm going to turn off honor as a reward. Uh, we could get a healer mech serum, which we can use to fix Mares' brain. Because he has a permanent scar on his brain. Which is making things difficult for him. That's tempting. I'm picking it right now because I'm hoping that they show up while the foxes are still here and then they die to the foxes. Or they kill all the foxes for me. Oh wait, I need you to... I might lose that SMG. But that's okay. Where's Mares? Oh, he's teaching a lesson. All right, Aaron, do you know con construction? No, but... Oh, wait. All right, yeah, you're assigned to it. Good enough. All right, we get you get Sune back into the base. Okay. Tsune is safe. Yes, okay. Kind of abusing the minify everything mod by picking up and lowering the, the walls. <laughs> but it's just a shortcut of me breaking them and repairing them. Mares needs a new shirt. Do we have any shirts? According to the tailoring bench, we should have a shirt. Oh, it's human leather. I don't think we care about human leather. Oh, man. Finally started watching Free Rin Beyond Journey's End. Oh, Husky and Luke got sick. That is a great anime. I think we're eight or nine episodes into it. Almost to the halfway point. But that and Dungeon Meishi have really liked I don't know, made me fall in love with anime again. Both of those shows are comfy for different reasons. Oh, that's him practicing on the target dummy. I heard melee hits. I was like, no, 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 don't break down the wall. Should manage my outfit. Oh, okay. They should take stuff off if they're at 50%. Oh, 
Where's my doctors? What is Aaron doing instead of doctoring? I, I did re-weeb. But it was like the two, like, top anime of this year, I think, right? Or did Freerin start last year? So you have one show, which is like a D&D &D party that goes into uh, a dungeon that has monsters. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. But the, the premise of the show is uh, they were killing a dragon and the fight went really bad. And the main character's sister teleported everyone else out of the dungeon to save them. So they're trying to uh, run back in and cut open the dragon's belly so they can uh, get her remains <laughs> and resurrect her. Doe is third runaway. I don't... I can't do anything about that right now. And then Free Ren... Oh, okay. So anyway, so the party trying to go back in and rescue the sister, they're all like, oh, we can't carry... We don't have enough money for food, and we can't carry that much food with us, and we can't afford that much food to get all the way down to the bottom level again. And so they meet a dwarf named Senshi who teaches them how to uh, cook and eat monsters. So it's like part cooking, part D&D. &D. But it's, it's comfy and wholesome at the same time. And the creator, she, uh, she finished the show. She finished writing the comic. Uh, right, <laughs> right when Baldur's Gate 3 came out. So I think the writer, uh, the creator, I think she's a huge D&D &D fan. So when Baldur's Gate came out, it was like, all right, yep, I'm finishing my, my comic. And I'm going to retire and play Baldur's Gate now. Do not bother me. Freyrin seems really cool, where it follows an elf named Freyrin. Uh, she's part of the, the hero's adventure that went and slayed the Demon King. But everyone else in the party were humans, except for one other guy who's a dwarf. But, you know, so they they grow old and, and die. And Freyrin didn't uh pay them any mind she didn't really have any care for humans it seems like at at the beginning but then uh you know she hears all these stories and everyone talking about how great they were and things like that and she kind of regrets not connecting with them so uh she sets out to kind of like relive the adventure and visit the places that they visited before, but she's coming back, like, 80 years later. So she's meeting, like, the kids of the people that she met and seeing these places where statues of her are and stuff. And she's like, I, I didn't think anything I did was that great. So it's, it's comforting and wholesome in a different way. But then, like... There's still demons around, so there's still, like, combat and stuff. And she takes on an apprentice and teaches her. So it's, I mean, I don't know. It's weirdly epic without having a, a, a whole lot of fights. But the fights that they do have are, are really good. And that one's got one more episode till it's finished with the first season. I don't know if it'll get another season. But the music is good, the art style is fantastic, the animation, there is so much love in the animation. From, like, hair flowing, combat moves, uh, even just, like, putting on, like, jackets and stuff is, like, ridiculously hyper over-animated, and it's awesome. Every bit of it is awesome.
weeb. Yeah. And what's great is, like, there's, like, some anime tropes, but it's not, like, the annoying anime tropes. Free rin has got, like, it kind of takes a little bit of the whole I have more energy than you, like, trope in the combat, but it, like, puts a different spin on it that I really like. And it's not just that Freerin is just naturally stronger than everyone she's met. I mean, it's... Uh, she got there through hard work. You know, because she's an elf. She's been around for a long time. So she's been practicing magic for a long time. Let's get the advanced bionics going. This isn't Dota. <laughs> What's up, Lefty? I, I did a poll in RimWorld 1... But I think I might not play Helldivers on Thursday. I might play Dota instead. Because even though I've lost three games in a row as Dota, I'm like, I don't know. There's just something about Dota that is hooking me back in after having abandoned it for 11 years. I watched the Hollow Live girls play Dota together. I forgot to subtract the troll votes. I needed to have a third option that the trolls would go for. And then I could say, haha, you fell for my, my troll option, so now I know who the trolls are. But yeah, I've watched... The Hollow Life girls did a collab where they all played Dota, and I think they played against bots... But it's still, it like, I don't know what it is, but, like, it was, like, tendrils going into my brain and scratching up old memories of playing Dota 1 and Warcraft 3 in college. Or, um... No, I actually, I played, like, 20 games of Dota 2 after it came out. But then, like, I was really heavily into League at the time, so I didn't play much Dota 2. And it's kind of interesting how I can pick it back up and it'd be like... Okay, I know how to last hit, I know how to hit stuff, I know how to teleport works. And for the longest time, I was like, wait, where's Roshan? Where's Roshan? I can't believe they made the map bigger, and they tuck, tucked Roshan in the absolute uppermost left-hand corner and said, there, there he is. In the most hardest-to-reach spot in the map. So... And then there's, like, new character I have to add. And then they added a new hero type. Oh, low food. This isn't good for us. Well, we've been sieged by these foxes for so long. That's probably why we ran out of food. We have 27 meals left. No, 31 meals. It's three more days. Okay, that should carry us until the raid shows up. And hopefully the raid shows up soon so they can attack the foxes. I didn't vote in the poll. It's invalid. Reggie, you should have voted, man. It's actually okay. It was a very last minute one. Because I was really on the fence. Because, like I said, I played like three games of Dota. Two today, one yesterday or the day before. And it's like, oh god, I hate how toxic the other players are. But it's fun. <laughs> and it, like, I don't think I've played a PvP game on stream in a long, in a while. Probably not since like Hunt Showdown with Hoshi and Low Battery. Helldivers isn't PvP. There we go. Here's the raid. Okay, so I need the imps to come through here. Actually, it doesn't matter. As long as they don't kill the geothermal... Every stream is PvP. <laughs> the streamer versus the people in chat. <laughs> I've never thought about it that way.
Aha! See, they're already fighting the foxes. My plan is working. Alright, so they killed one of the foxes, but... They got injured. You're killing one of the other foxes. You're all, They're wasting their fire breath on the foxes. This is good. Well, we're gonna play Mario Party again? Uh... I'm going to be busy, like, every weekend from now until April. So, unfortunately, I can only do, like, three streams a week during the weekday. It's going to be, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for, like, the next three weeks. Uh, unless something comes up. But, next week I said I'm, I'm going to try to fix uh, Jackbox. Because I said I would do that. Oh, you already died to the fo You died to one fox. Oh, you did cut off the fox tail. Um. So, yeah, I'd like to fit Jackbox. Maybe we could fit Mario Party in there. Let you get your run back. See, some of these guys got scratched up from the foxes. They have a pregnant raider coming after us. Critical alert fire. Where's the fire? Oh. That's bad. Why do I care? Oh, more imps are attacking. Okay. Unless these guys lose to the foxes. No, I don't think so. There's one fox left. Okay, good news. They took care of all the foxes. Bad news. The foxes didn't kill enough of them. I'll probably get out of... Time to fight. Yeah. Imps have decided to steal what they can and leave? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take your stuff. Take the stuff and leave. I don't care. Pull Aaron back. Wait, why are you guys going that way? Don't break down my door. Please don't break down my door? Okay. What's happening to Daniel? Oh, Daniel, you should be fine. Alright, Unath is bleeding out. Do I care about capturing you? Slow learner bloodlust. No. Vich Garath. Undergrounder. High plants. Chronic stomach disorder. I can relate. The fox did their job and damaged them. It slowed them down. Uh, let's see. Can I make you... Blood feed? Yes. There you go. So the problem is I've got a couple more imps on the way. 
Oh, I probably need to leave this door open. Oh, yep, here they come. Oh, there they go. Oh, there's multiple groups. Okay. Hey, at least that gets us some food real quick. It says they're going to steal what they can. I don't know what they're trying to steal from me. Unless they want the jade. I'll pull Aaron in. Okay, the fire is bad. Yeah, fire really bad. Yeah, get in there, mares. Oh my god. The generator is going to explode. Can I get everyone away in time? I need everyone on freaking firefighting. Heat stroke? Yeah, it's it's going to get hot. Wait, what if I uninstall the wall? Aaron is literally on fire. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, my chem fuel's gonna explode! Oh my god, it's bad. Okay, I've cheated the temperature. All of my storage supplies gone? No, not all of my storage supplies. Because these supplies are good. My masterwork charge lance is toast. My bionic arm is toast. Silent neuroformer is toast. So much damage, yeah. Oh my god. I think it burned out. I think... I think we're about to be okay. Like, it's bad, but not... Not the end of the world. So I install sprinklers. Uh, you know what? Where's fire foam? Uh, did I already have? Oh no, here we go. All right, we're gonna research extinguishers. Okay, so unfortunately, my super rifle got destroyed. It's my fault for not equipping it to anyone. Good news is the component survived.
They didn't steal the healer mech serum, which we can administer to mares. We need to wait for the other stuff to clear up first so we don't accidentally miss curing his brain. Okay. So now we know not to let everything uh, burn. Alright, why are we out of power? What happened? Okay, we need to connect that again. And connect that. Taylor Bench survived drugs, art. I think I lost my electric stove. We lost the kitchen table. We can make another table. We'll just make everything out of steel so it's less likely to burn down next time. Okay. Disease infection. Mares has gotten sick. The infection's in his right leg. Alright, Mares, that means bed rest for you. And then I find a doctor to work on you. Aaron or John Doe? Oh, John Doe lost a lung and a kidney? Shoot. Oh, John Doe's gonna take care of you. All right, well, I have two prisoners. That means I have four kidneys and four lungs. Have we researched organ transplants? Okay. We're unfortunately not in a great spot to where we can do the organ transplanting, but... Okay, so technically they're saying this is all outside. You need to put that wall back together. Thank you. Hey, hey, what's up, Abby? Yeah, we're getting a new DLC. We're getting a horror-themed DLC. And it's gonna have, it's gonna have like SCPs in it. Yeah, horror. I swallowed my horror. Um, what did I say we're getting? So there's gonna be like zombies that like imitate your colonists. Colonists will get infected by like mind flare parasites and you know get taken over, and you have to. Figure out who's infected and who's normal. There's going to be, like, weird objects that your colonists will become obsessed with. Uh, There's going to be monsters that mutate you. It's kind of out of character for RimWorld. Yeah, uh, the developer said that he wanted to create... A DLC that would tell stories that were different from anything that Rimworld has ever, ever said before. So horror just seems like a theme that hasn't really been explored. Because most of this is like survival, sci-fi, cyberpunk, mm -hmm. roughing it kind of thing. 
Do I still have a butcher table? Yes. No. That's what I'm missing. All right. Make a new butcher table. Wait. Oh, it still wants me to make it with wood? I don't have any wood! Do I really need wood to butcher animals? Oh, 20. Okay, I have plenty. Plenty. I have enough. Plenty is an overstatement. Who else can construct? John? I need to work on the butcher table. I was like, wait, we have corpses piling up. How come we're not making meat? Butcher creature, do forever. Include humans. Go. I'm sure they'll have a good in-universe explanation for it. Oh, another one was a giant meat monster flesh monster is trying to take over the entire planet so you have to like attack it break off portions of its flesh study it and when you attack its organs which are like the raids i guess it summons it spits acid on you and it summons flesh beasts to defend itself so yeah, just a whole lot of a whole lot of weird I don't know, I saw from one of the screenshots, they had, like, a bunch of cells and monsters of various shapes and sizes and types. Like, there was one that was just a giant orb, another that was a corpse. Well, there was a couple of corpses, so I wonder if, like, they killed the monster, but you can still uh, research the monster from its remains. Try to think what else I saw. Oh, our prisoners are beating each other up. That's good. That's a problem that will solve itself. Can you serve the space to Cthulhu? I don't know if they'll give you an option where you can go with the eldritch horrors and like herald in apocalypse and destruction i could see that being a modded ending Okay, I'm down to one stove. Should I get a second stove? I think one of my stoves burned down. We really need to make like our own kitchen inside the mountain. You know what? Maybe that fire is just the... In Incentive I needed to tell me to start building deeper. Oh my god, am I getting raided again? Bro, I need a breather here. Holy cow. How clustered? Look at this cluster right here. This has been all night. Infestation. Raid, raid, raid. I guess I did have a little bit of a lull. And there's been raid, 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 raid. And only one of those was a quest. Okay. Alright. Nothing I can do, but... Tell everyone to go indoors again. Including the animals.
Nothing I can do. Pressing buttons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the usual. All right, so I think we're going to make a separate storage and put all of our chem fuel there. Did I have another battery that got blown up in the fire? Can't remember. Well, it doesn't matter. I have one maxed battery, so that should be enough. Like, make more separate storage to keep flammable stuff. Yeah, the, the chem fuel explodes, so it, that's a no-brainer for separating it. Caravan to Serir. Serir. Ten formal shirts, normal quality. Oh, did I lose my skill trainers? No. I have the melee one. Do I still have the crafting one? Oh, that didn't get burned up. All right. All right, here come the Yidikin. I didn't get any of my defenses rebuilt. Well, at least these guys won't breathe fire on me. Daniel, you better get what you need and get back to safety. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cut off his head. Aaron used his long sword to hack Ferk. Have halfing her head. A missing body, or bo body part caused her to die. I told my animals to stay indoors, right? Oh my god, I broke a door. Hey, pass the remote. Thank you so much for the raid. What are you doing? Uh, hope you had a good stream. Welcome, raiders. Hope you guys are having a good night. These guys are escaping this way. We're uh, revisiting RimWorld. And uh, having a weird time of it. I was trashing on Aaron's sword. Uh, Aaron, Aaron's sword is low quality, but he makes up for it by having... Hot, like 17 melee and then his genes give him uh where is it strong melee damage so he has a 1.5 times multiplier on his damage anyway but uh that being said we can make him a new weapon hopefully a better quality weapon and comes by in the future does this guy have anything worth Pretty, nervous, uh, the high melee, animals, and social. I think we'll allow everything. Oh, unrestricted. The raid is done. Why is my husky bleeding out? Oh, it got shot. Oh, yeah, because for some reason it walked outside of the base when it shouldn't have. 
Alright, well, one husky rescues the other. Have John Doe tend to it. Okay. Victim blaming? Dude, it was a stupid... It was a stupid dog! It just started wandering out, and it was assigned not to wander. <laughs> stupid dog, you make me look bad. Man, that's a reference that, uh... I'm afraid it will start being lost on people. Rocky put me on the couch tonight? Nah. I should have brought out the water bottle. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> my my row of turrets took care of the wandering deer. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, but that cartoon's not aired anymore, so there will be people who will not recognize what we're talking about when we talk about Courage the Cowardly Dog or reference the show. It's on Boomerang? Yeah, and the first half of that word is boomer. The Gen Zers aren't gonna get it. Classic old cartoons. Man, you say classic old cartoons, and I think of like the Flintstones and George Jetson, and, or the Jetsons, I should say. I'm not thinking about uh, <laughs> courage. My friends have been suggesting me to watch Ninjago. The Le Lego Ninjago? I'm mad that cartoons from the 90s are on Boomerang. Yeah, Boomerang. Wait, Jailbreaker. Vincent is trying to let everyone out of jail. No. Calm him down. Don't let him let the prisoners out. Okay. Come on, Vincent. You can't let the meat bags out. We need them for their or blood bags out. I wasn't allowed to watch anything other than PBS. I guess that's not terrible. What what did what card did you have on PBS? Uh Arthur was cool. I don't know if they still aired Arthur when you were watching though. See if I can't get Yugi Tsune to save Dude from this fox. I liked Arthur. Yeah, Arthur wasn't bad. I can't think of anything else, though, because I don't watch a whole lot of PBS either. I'll get Dude to safety. There we go. Dude, you're now safe. He never saw Between the Lions? Never heard of that show. Well, I will say the game throwing a raid at me was perfect to give me more meat. So, there is that. This isn't even the first time I brought it up. How am I supposed to remember everything that you bring up? I don't know. I guess I could actually remember. That would be a good, good first step. All I do is lie and yell at you. We used to be friends. 
<laughs> it's true. I don't know what happened, Reggie. I bet AI Will would be a better friend. AI, yeah, probably. AI Will would not forget. He would not forget your birthday. He would not forget your game recommendations. He would not forget his promises. We played Mario Party. It hasn't been the same. I, You were hostile towards me before Mario Party. That's not fair. I'm putting the blame on you entirely. That's what a what a toxic person would do, and that's not me. I don't mean it, Reggie. Masterwork. Oh, we made a masterwork dining chair. How about that? Reggie, get out of there. This place is toxic. <laughs> I should do Mountain Blade Banner Lord when you can. Never played it. Don't think I own it either. Well, what kind of game is it? Like, I don't mind taking game recommendations. I just need to know what kind of game it is. Like, am I first person shootering it? Is it strategy? You can link the store page. Oh, okay. I guess I can do the research on my own to figure out what it is. Oh, dude became an adult? Hey, dude grew up. It's like strategy, but you're on the field. Okay. All right, dude is now old enough to do smithing, research, and writing. Oh, he only had growth tier five. Well, you know what? Growth tier five is okay because... Uh... Things have been hectic in your childhood, dude. I can pick one skill to increase his passion for. Mining or animals? Uh, well. Mining's important since we're building into a mountain. We actually got offered four really, no, three really good, um, traits. So, bloodlust... Means he gets a rush from hurting people. Never minds the sight of blood or death. He's four times as likely to start a social fight. Ah, eh, never mind. That social fight part isn't good. But I think he likes wearing human. Is it bloodlust that likes wearing? Is Karma Kid here? Is it bloodlust that likes to wear human leather? Because like he gets a mood buff that says something like, "I love wearing the suffering of others." Yeah, we can offset his mood buff. Masochist would be good, though, too. Because that means if he gets hurt, he doesn't get mood debuffs for being in pain. These two are really strong traits. I mean, we already don't care about corpses, but that's from the religion. But, I mean, I could dress him in full human leather and he'd be, he'd be very happy.
Bloodlust is good too. I think I'm gonna stick with Bloodlust. We'll just uh, we'll just get him in that human leather, so he can have that a uh, <laughs> enjoy wearing the suffering of others. That is what the the moodlet is called. It's only forty nine ninety nine. It's on sale for half off right now. Oh yeah, I forgot about the spring sale. There wasn't anything on sale that I really wanted. I ended up buying a bunch of games for my friends. It's like I had a friend who put Signalis on her wish list, and I was like, oh, well that's half off of a really good game. Yeah, I'll buy that for you. Tired Nomads. Three Desperate Refugees. You know what? We need it. We can take. We have plenty of bed space. We had plenty of food. If we do more hunting, we'll get more food. Okay. If any of you guys are good at cooking, farming, no construction. Mares, how's your infection? Oh, it's gone already. Okay. No, I don't want you to smith or tailor. Zero but a burning passion. That kind of sucks. Okay, good. None of you set to hunt. I'm not going to give you guns. Good. You have minor passion and four skill in... Plants. All right, Ernesto, you're just you just became my best friend. Quick sleeper, decent traits. Do you have any health issues? No. You just don't like being outside. Well, that's going to be difficult for farming now. But if we go to the mushroom mode, that should be less of an issue. All right. Well, we get him. If we get him nicer clothes. Do I have some spare pants that he can wear? <laughs> Human leather button-down shirt. This will scare them. All will know my power. <laughs> Dude, the bloodlust pods are crazy. Glad they're on our side. Do I not have a... Sp I guess I don't have any spare pants. Okay, yeah, we need to make pants. Don't we all technically wear human leather? Oh, then I guess he's wearing an extra layer. Low food, low baby food. I guess we are low in rice again. Some berry bushes that maybe harvesting those will get us some fruit so we can make baby food out of it. Shoot, it's almost 11 o'clock. Alright, I'll try to get things into a stable spot again. 
I don't know how and when I'm going to do that. Well, we've already got the starting of a workshop down here. So I think if I move my smithy and stuff indoors, that shouldn't be an issue. So we can start emptying this front room and setting either setting it up for the kill box or... No, we should set it up for the kill box. If we don't set this... This spot out here could be a good kill box too. Because then I still have access to my outdoor area. But I need to work on emptying this room because this room's just been it's it's poorly designed. It's been kicking our butts. Letting too much pain in. Machining table in. I guess we can bring the drugs in too. Oh, that auto save messed me up. Aaron needs death dress. Yes, he does. All right. Go do that, Aaron. Don't need you doing anything else. Get the art bench back inside. This has been an interesting challenge of a night. We have zero baby food. Meat and animal products for the meals. We got to leave the soft stuff for the babies. Yeah, we have no rice to make baby food out of. So our only hope is the berry bushes. What are you good at, Mead? Oh, melee, psychopath, hard worker. Oh, the problem is they're picking the berries and then eating them immediately because they're hungry. Well, baby's going to go hungry again. Dude was hunting too. Oh. You're on a fire starting spree. Cool. Not a fan of that. I am a fan of you being a genie though. So if you do want to join us, I might say yes. We have a genie. Imperial Trader. Do you have any food?
Bro, I don't think they have any food for trade. Bad luck for me. Bro, everyone's giving up on killing stuff. Well, we did good on food in an earlier spot. Okay, Ernesto doesn't... You know what? I will arm one of the... <laughs> one of the survivors, or visitors, and hope they don't screw me over. So that way we can get hunting done. Yana, I will give you an awful quality flintlock if you can hunt too. You know what, Mead? You can get a flintlock pistol and you can go hunting. We need to clean up every animal on this planet. John Doe's upset because he's starving, which makes sense. Hangry? Yeah. Why are you repairing? Vincent has had a mental breakdown and is going to vent her anger on your animals. Oh. Oh, you're actually killing them! Well, I can't be too mad, because at least killing a... dog gets us some meat. Okay, there's a turkey coming in. Vincent went and killed the boom below and it exploded on him. Well, that sucks losing the boom below. Wait, what is this? What is this doing out here? Bring that indoors. Don't worry, there's more boomlopes that we can get. Unfortunately, you didn't slaughter one of my sterilized animals. <laughs> so I can't make any more dogs. It's okay, I'm low on food, so it's not like I can do anything with that. Alright, we're making another... Making another cooking bench. Hunter likes ranged weapon. 
Oh, I set Maris to hunt and he doesn't have a gun. There's a machine pistol. An SMG should be fine. Been raising my colony on sushi and human sushi? Blah. That's gross karma. Should have gotten that one mod that someone recommended called What's on the Menu. So that way we can have, instead of just simple meal, it would have like meal descriptions. You know, just something to add a little bit of foof to the game. Like, we're having risotto with uh, sautéed human. Or something. I don't know. Okay, Cassidy's starving again. We don't have any rice ready. Yana is on her second fire spree. That's not good. Because she's setting fire to all of her rice. Okay, all right, we're harvesting rice. So hopefully that means we can get some baby food in the baby and the baby won't starve. Making bulk baby food. You know, we'll kill the donkeys for their meat. Alright, who's bored and can feed the baby? Daniel K isn't doing anything. He can feed the baby. I think I need to make like an armchair or something so we can sit comfortably and feed the baby. How much cloth do I have? 168. Might be stabilizing again. Okay, doubling up on the cooks was the right idea. Are you upset for being naked? Oh no, you're still wearing pants. Okay, so I guess you wouldn't be upset. Imperial Trader. No, thank you. I don't know at what point, I feel like I've got tons of rice, but maybe I'm just not making, 
I'm just not dedicating enough cooking to it. I'm not sure how I can stabilize the food production. Well, hey, we got... We got some refugees that we're taking care of, so that'll be good. Underground or indoors? Yeah, so if we get some of those refugees to join us, that'll help. Um, especially... I don't want Yana. Pyromaniac sucks. Genie is good, though. Tough to say. Ernesto we really want. Quick sleeping in plants and the dirt mole stuff just kind of fits with the colony pretty well. If these guys betray us, it'll suck because we did give them guns, so they'll be a little bit more lethal than usual. I don't know how the formula plays out, but maybe with me giving them guns to say, hey, you're part of the colony now, that they'll be like, okay, cool, can we join? Gift from the Shattered Empire. Oh, that's what those two random components were. Quest expires. Can I make ten formal shirts in time? Arcotech arm is a really good offer. I don't have enough, yeah, I don't have enough materials to make the trade. Double strand, cycoid cotton. Bro, I have people set to grow at even one priority. And no one is growing anything. I think that's the other problem. Hey, take it easy, Vincent. I actually should be wrapping things up here. We've got we've got rice coming in again. All right, so the food is stable again. I mean, we got raided a ton. We're in a nice lull spot right now, which is good. You can see my wealth dropped off because all my stuff burned away. Uh, are we any closer to launching our vampire into space? Nope. We barely got any research done, too. We got a big one. We got advanced fabrication. I can't say that. We didn't do anything. We got one of the big techs out of the way. So we can start on Starflight stuff in the future. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap things up here since it's been about three hours. Uh, I'll say no one dying is a plus. And we added two members to the colony. We added a baby and a three-year-old. <laughs> Yep, I am leaving, Reggie. <laughs> you caught on. Well, hey, I'm glad to be back. Yeah, we're closing down. I have work in the morning. Like, every day. <laughs> it is what it is. I would love to uh, stay up and play longer. I can with RimWorld. It's a, it's a lovingly addictive game for me. Uh, I'll probably play it again next week. I'll try to fit in as many streams as I can. I'm basically racing the clock until the DLC comes out. Because once the DLC comes out, the um, this save file will be completely unplayable because of all the mods that are on it. It's not like I can just pick it up out of 1.4 and put it in 1.5 and go back to, back to normal. So, hey, you know, it was a good chill stream to come back to. Since I've been off for a week. 
I will... What is 2D and top D? Yeah, I'm gonna raid... Oh, Pippa started three hours ago. What are the chances she's ending soon? Who is someone I can raid that's less likely to end their stream soon? Okay. Cozy Chu started at 945. So she should only be an hour and a half into her stream. So there's a chance we'll catch Cozy Chu on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, do you guys want to watch Falu play Cyberpunk? Actually, who else have I raided in a while? Rainy's playing Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. That sounds kind of fun. And I just saw Rainy for Hell Divers. I say just, that was two weeks ago, but uh, it is something. And Rainy's trying to push for partner, so maybe we can help her get partner. Rainy Renton. Rainy Renton. All right. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'll be going back to Elden Ring because that's another DLC that's coming out soon. I have that second playthrough I started. I've been playing a little bit of Elden Ring behind the scenes, like another, another, another playthrough. I think I've done like five or six playthroughs of the game. But uh, the stream playthrough was the fist weapon character, so the close range stuff sorry the hiccups are coming now it's good time good time for me to end uh pure dex build the punching daggers that's what it was so i have a another playthrough that i was going to try to do before the dlc hits or at least get him in a spot where he's ready for the dlc so that'll be tomorrow's stream we'll be going back to my old elden ring playthrough it's like it's 2022 again bill's playing elden ring and worm world so uh that's uh that's what you guys can look out look forward to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream tonight. I'm glad to be back making content again. And uh I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. But uh till then, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay out of trouble. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>